Hello everyone, I'm Lorraine and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to make two cards today using the True Beauty uh, stamp set and the Awash in Beauty Designer Series paper. And I've used the dies that come with the bundle to cut out images from the Designer Series paper with this card. So we're going to start, oops, we're going to start with this one. Um, you know how I, I feel about designer series paper and how when we cover it up, it just kind of gets wasted. Um, so what I did is I actually used, I wanted to use the decal uh, rectangular dies. I just got them and I wanted to use them. So what I did is I cut the center out of the designer series paper and ended up with this piece here. Not wanting to waste this piece, that's how I created the second card here. So it just stretches your designer series paper a little bit further. So what I did is I took, as I say, the, the uh, deckled rectangle die, I cut that out and then I took a piece of basic white and I used the next size up die to cut out a piece of basic white so that I could lay it over top. Uh, what I did is I used the piece of basic white and I stamped it. So let's just grab a piece of scrap paper because I will be stamping off the edge here. I used Pear Pizzazz and Calypso Coral. Um, we all know how much I love those two. Uh, and I've been very good about using other colors lately, so I'm going to use this, these ones. So I'm just going to stamp this on using the Pear Pizzazz. And then I will stamp the flower using the Calypso Coral. Let's just make sure that's inked up really well. And I am going to stamp this one away because I just want to make sure that I do indeed have good coverage and I do. Okay, so then I'm just going to place this down. I'm going to try and overlap the stem a little bit so that it looks like the flower is actually blooming. And I also need to stamp the greeting. Now you can line this up again. Um, it's a clean mount, not a photopolymer, so you can't see exactly where you're uh, stamping. So you could use the Stamparatus if you wanna line up multiple cards, or I use my grid paper and I line it up and make sure that I am square. And how do I have to hold the stamp to make sure that I am going to come up square? And I just need to do that. So there we are. And then I've just attached everything together. So I've used my stamp and seal and just kind of picture framed this um, piece because it does have the hole in the middle there. And just put it together. And this is a Calypso Coral tent fold card base. I'm just going to drop that down. And this is, as with most of my designer series paper, it's cut to five and a quarter by four. And then I'm just going to flat mount this. You could, um, you could dimensionalize this if you want to. I'm just going to flat mount it. And I like the deckled edge. It's just, just that subtle touch um, that adds a little bit of interest. And then I'm going to use the polished dots. And I'm going to shoot one across my craft room <laughs> okay so this uh, I'm just going to pop one up over here and then let's just nudge that one off one here and then one up over here now this is a fairly plain middle of the card um, you could run it through an embossing folder if you wanted to, or you could um, add some other detail with the stamps to it as well. So that's the first card. Now we're going to make the second card, which is where I use the piece I cut out of the middle of the first card. So I've got a basic white tent fold card base. I've got that basic white cut with the larger of the two deckled 
rectangle dies. Again, the center is cut with this piece. And then I used one of the, the smallest deckle die to cut out the greeting. And I've just layered it up. Now, if you wanted to, you could do exactly the same thing with the underlying designer series paper and cut that piece out too and line everything up. I didn't in this case. Um, so I am just going to build this card. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's absolutely fabulous. I love that. So we will we'll layer this up. And this is kind of how you can, you can stretch your designer series paper. You can get kind of two cards from, from one piece here. I'm going to flat mount this as well. I'd already mounted this, uh, the designer series paper to the basic white background. And I love how the leaves in the background paper pick up the leaves in the front. Now I'm going to add my greeting first because it's going to go underneath the leaves. So I'm just going to pop this in the corner like this. And these leaves and the rose were cut from the designer series paper. There are um, two sheets that you can actually cut out of to um, make the uh, images with the stamps. So I'm going to just lay that down kind of over here like this. I'm just going to check, make sure I'm still in frame. Yes, I am. Excellent. And I dimensionalized the flower. Popped it down like that. And then again, I used the polished dots and just popped them down here like this. Just that little, again, that little bit of added interest. Just pop them in like that. And like that. So there we go. We have two cards made using the A Wash and Beauty Suite, uh, the True Beauty stamp set, the uh, the dies, the organic beauty dies, uh, and A Wash and Beauty designer series paper. So thank you so much for watching and let me know which card you prefer and we will create together again soon.